Good afternoon, Year 11s. I'm back uh, with the second part of the May 2020 paper, and I'm going to answer A2, right, which is one of the compulsory questions. Right, so it says there the shade for this lamp is made from thin card. Okay, so now in this particular case, we are looking at the shade, all right, the lamp shade. So it says there the development or the net of the lampshade is shown below. All right, so we've got four sections here with all the score lines shown. Complete the half scale isometric view of the assembled lampshade in the space provided. 11 marks. All right, again, same as the previous question, it says they complete half the scale. All right, so basically. If you look at 260, that'll, and you divide that by 2, it will give you 130, for example. And that you have to do with all the measurements, all right? So that's when you apply the sketch here. So let's look at the sketch given, all right? You can see there um, <clears throat> the circles of the, the Olympic circles has been given here, three of them, and that's basically the logo, right? So we can start here on the side here. It seems like this view, if we have to look from here, would give you that particular view over there. So we're looking at 130 millimeters. So what we're going to do here is we are going to measure 130 millimeters up here. And we can immediately draw that line. Don't waste time, guys. Just draw immediately. If you can draw a line, draw it. Right, so now I'm going to draw a vertical line over here. Okay, and now I'm looking at the height over here. Right, so I've got the height here as 80 millimeters. So divide that by 2 gives you 40 millimeters. So we're looking at that as a 40 and it's basically, yeah, that is 40 millimeters. It's actually a little bit short. So I'm just at half a millimeter extra. And then we're looking at the side on this end here. All right, so I'm going to pick up my 30 degree set square, right? For this use, because I mean, after all, it's an isometric drawing and we are usually using the 30 degree set square. Right, so the distance on this end here, therefore, would be going in this direction would be basically I'm looking at this distance here and what is that distance it's a 220 right so 220 divided by 2 gives me 110 so I'm going to measure here 110 millimeters it's on that point so I'm just going to make sure All right, and there's that line. And I will then take it from here. I'll draw that line over there. Okay. Okay. Right, so you can see the difference between um, the two long ones. The two long ends would be the 130 on this end here, and then the two shorter ends would be the 120. So you can assume that this one would also be another 130 millimeters there. Right, why? Because if you complete this exercise here, goes there and this one goes there you can see automatically that this distance here from there to the 130 from there to the 130 right so now we need to go up and it, it it actually goes up at an angle all right because of this distance here so let's look at the let's look at the square at the top so we will we will have a square at the top 
of 100 by basically 140 or rather 50 by 70 millimeters all right so let's look at the general top okay so i'm going to draw this in a box and that will make my task much easier so i need to get this distance here so we've got a, a 40 at the bottom a given 80 that will give me the 40 there and here divide by 2 would give me a 70 millimeter so basically to make it easy for myself I'm going to draw this in a box so I'm going to extend this line here okay and I'm going to measure a 70 millimeters on this line okay and then from here I take that line over there I take another line over here in this direction I extend this line so that that line meets the top over there I extend that line over there okay so now I've got the top version of this so my total height here guys would be it's as if you are drawing it in a block now okay in a box something like that okay so you're going to have now the square in there would be the 50 by 70 millimeter square so on the long end here on the long end here which is this end here is 140 which is 70 so basically what if I can get the middle here the middle measured and the middle of 130 okay so 130 there's 130 you can see 130 divide by 2 gives you 65 right so I'm going to measure sixty five over here. Sixty five, and just to make sure that it will work out that it's still imperfect, it is sixty five. Okay, so and then in the middle here, that is a hundred. Okay, um, so this is 110, so half of 110 would be 55, that's 55, 55, okay, so now you take your line across here. Okay, so the reason for this, guys, is so that you can work from the center point I'm just going to make these lines a little bit more a little bit lighter so that you don't get confused with the bottom back edge okay so you just work with basically the top two edges so that was that middle over here and there's your cross at the top so basically what you can do now is you can actually work from the center here okay or you can just measure it here it doesn't matter from there across 70 70 okay because remember we're looking at the 70 opposite the 130 so there's 130 so we're looking at the 70 opposite and half of 70 okay would be 35 35 so from that point from this point i will measure 35 35 35 over there and 35 right across there so I'm going to take these two lines across and that point goes across okay and now I'm going to measure the 50 so it's 25 on either side As I take those lines across, 
it gives me the top square there over there. All right, it's a rectangle. So I've got a, I've got that 50 over there. Okay. And I've got a 70 over there. But as a matter of fact, remember, it was 140, all right? It was supposed to be 140, but because of the scale, that gives me a 70 and that gives me a 50. Right, so all I do now is I just darken these lines. And I'm going to now join the diagonals. So I will join this one here, this point here, and that's all I will do. I'll still use my my set squeeze, but it's not particularly. Uh, it's not a specific angle. And there you are. That is my lamp, guys. All right, so now remember, it's a lampshade, so it will be hollow in the middle there, in the center part. So I need to get, I need to get the back point, All right? And the back point was already there, so I'm just going to darken this slightly again because I have rubbed this out. Okay, and where they meet, right? That's the point. That's those those these lines are still visible because you're looking right into it. Okay. So that one goes there. Okay. And then this part here is just that piece or that edge that you will see. So guys, now you can see that this here is our basically our bend is basically here. This is our bend. All right, that's where it's actually there should be score lines, and that's the score lines over see over there that you see. These are those four lines over there, and because it's hollow, it's a shade. You would have the inside here, sort of that will be inside. All right. And let's just give it a bit of a shading over here. Okay, you don't have to do this, guys, but it's just for you to to confirm to confirm, all right, that uh, you were actually that you actually right. So that makes sense to do this, but it's not a compulsory. That's not you're not going to get extra marks for that. Okay. But it's just to kind of for confirmation for yourself. All right. And then, of course, <clears throat> so now you can see now, like, there's still an edge missing here. Right. So I'm going to draw in this line as well. And that edge, guys, is the edge that, um, that's going to catch a lot of guys out. Because that edge comes, if it goes down, and you've got this edge, they will meet there. And this point, if you extend that line, it will meet that point over there. And that's the three lines going there. All right. Okay. So that's worth 11 marks. Then question A3, still part of the section A. It says that the logo design on the lampshade will be printed with a thermochromic ink. Okay. With with thermochromic ink. Okay, I think there's a question one. Explain how thermochromic ink works. Right. So as you know, and um, if you've done some studying in your theory part, you would have noticed that um, the thermochromic ink are temperature sensitive. So what you will do is you will say here. Uh, uh, I'm just going to abbreviate that. Thermochromic ink, okay, or temperature or 
are temperature sensitive. Right, oh, that's that's one point. Right, so temperature sensitive. Therefore, so therefore, um, it change. Therefore, it change. Color with with exposure to heat. Okay, guys. So I think I think for that two marks that'll be good enough. Now you can if you can if you want to add something to that. It's basically, it's also say, I would also add to that if I can, but it's not really necessary. It's, it's, so the colors of the Olympic circles, right? These circles here that you see here, right? For example, the, with the original print might be, let's say, red, okay? But as you switch on the light, this shade obviously is going to heat up. So therefore, that green rings would change to, let's say, red because of the heat change all right because it warms up and that's basically what the purpose is, is of a of thermochromic ink that's the purpose right so we look at the second question state one other method that could be used to make the logo design on the lampshade more appealing all right that's the key word all right and um you can use color but i'm, I'm sure that um they would like to hear you saying embossing right now I'm not gonna say you know what embossing is um, I think it will just bring it a little bit uh, it will make it 3d like and it um, just makes this sh lampshade a little bit more um, aesthetically pleasing so it will really attract attention if you can emboss that so it will stand out a little bit more in depth. Okay, guys, that's um, from my side. Question A. One and two answered. All right, so just wait for my next video. That'll be B1 and B2. I will answer those two questions on the B section. And um, you'll get that um, video a bit later. All right. Go well and um, remember to subscribe and uh, give it a like if you if you liked it. Thank you.